letting us uh, come in, Bear. Uh, you can go ahead to the next slide. Uh, in, in February of last year, uh, Rick Bush and Jim Ducart met with some executives from our company. I had this great idea. I don't know if you know Rick Bush or not, but uh, he has a way of getting people to do things that they don't normally do. He came up with an idea of how can we put, uh, thank you, how can we put, uh, get guys in the field and make a YouTube video? Why don't we just put a, a YouTube or a GoPro camera on their hard hat and video them with an iPad and put this out just in little segments of little different tasks? And what he wanted from us was uh, just things that you guys would like to see, hits that you guys would be interested in looking at. So we came up with a few, uh, and I'm going to show you some of them. Uh, this is the first one that we, one of the first ones is a 34 stick job. You can't, you won't be able to hear the, the audio on it. Uh, yeah, you won't probably. Yeah. Um, but this is an example of a job that we did. All of these videos are on the TND uh, uh, World Transmission uh, website. I'm sorry. And they're also on YouTube. You can just Google it and the full video. These are just little tidbits of what, what is out there. Uh, we did the 34 stick job in St. Joe, Missouri. Uh, this job here, uh, property line uh, pole change out. Um, just about 15 seconds or so of these videos. Again, we'll make this really quick. Um, and, and the reason we're here is to get ideas from you guys. Things that you think you would like to see. It's not strictly linemen, uh, although it, you know, it's very nice to see what we do. Uh, we've included substations, cable splicers, uh, uh, transmission obviously, and we've set a, a time-lapse camera on a new substation that's being built. You know, the, the thought is uh, we would be able to use these videos, uh, T&D, uh, the videos are ours, so we can use as we please, and the thought is that we're gonna use them in training. Uh, our apprentices, most of you, I don't know if your apprentices are going to the, the tablets now. Uh, you know, we've got this generation gap, it seems like, at least where we're at. You got older guys and new guys, and trying to get those uh, people together to do certain things is a, a little uh, hampersome at times. So they're all the computer guys. Well, they can just go to their tablet, pull up a, a video. Transformer change out here, and uh, you can kind of refresh yourself on the task at hand. Uh, we've even extended it to, uh, this is a shunt reactor, just a termination. Uh, the substation that we have, uh, just a, an apprentice uh, going through the motions here, and you'll be able to hear the video. You guys can all go look at these. Uh, what's taking place, what he's doing, and kind of get a good idea. It's not going to tell you exactly how to do that job. Obviously, you're not going to, five minutes, know how to do a termination, but you get a good example of what, what you're seeing. Um, Jim will time-lapse things, obviously, the, the phone there. And when we were filming, uh, we had a storm come in, and uh, it kind of hampered our, our plans for that day, but Jim was able to go out and video some crews. Watch the tree trimmer here in the, the background. Just happened to catch it. Pretty strong guy here, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best part, there he goes. Oh. The guys were a little apprehensive, you know, linemen, you know, they, they say they don't want to be on video, but they really do. As soon as we, <laughs> we took the videos, uh, you know, I, I can't tell you how many times the guys would come up and say, hey, when's that going to be on, on the website? You know, he wants to tell his, his wife or his girlfriend or show his kids. It's really cool. It's a way to um, just let people know what we do from the bird's eye view. Uh, just swapping a pole out here, sticking across our men. Uh, we've got one more here where they're just tightening some bells. Oh. The video online takes you through this whole job that they did. It's only about five minutes, so just really catching the highlights. Uh, <laughs> it kind of scares me a little bit after the conversations from the, the previous meeting, you know, things that we're looking for, 
uh, you know, man, I hope all of our guys have the right stuff on because this is not the group to, to see things as us doing things wrong. But um, I was going to ask you, did you guys approve those things before you put them absolutely. on? Absolutely. Yeah, we did. Uh, and we've been able to learn a lot from them, too. There was uh, this, uh, I'll get back to that in just a second, Robbie. This deal here, I wish you guys could hear it. Obviously, you can go to the site and look at it. But the, uh, the journeyman on the pole, he's actually going through his checks, looking at the fuse mounting, uh, checking all the connections uh, at the transformer. He'll, he'll swing underneath the service here on the right, um, looking at his ground connections now. Uh, you notice he'll point out the, uh, the bottom coil, make sure it's not on the rack so the rack's uh, not high. And then he'll go ahead and cover up the, uh, the open wire. Um, and this is perfect for a cold apprentice to see. You know, you bring someone in, uh, I know we talked about with Mike last night, some of these things, uh, they can be tailored to you. Um, just put it on you guys, wherever they're working, and you've got the video and the library. Uh, the tailgate form, uh, they went through a, a video that has that. Um, and over time, what we would like to see is you have a camera, or a, I'm sorry, you know, your laptop or your your tablet on the, the tailgate, and whatever pro, uh, job you're going to do that day, you can just go ahead and pull it up from your library and go over certain things. Yes, sir. We, we were talking about that. Um, and the really next step there is like writing on a piece of paper. It's mm -hmm. not the way to go, right? So your tailboard is why you're writing on a piece of paper. Um, video tape that, right? So anyone new shows up to the job halfway through, they're looking at that. They're sitting there in the tailboard actually. Listening to the conversation, not what, listening, not reading what's written down on the piece of paper. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, are you asking a question? I'm sorry. No. Nope. Yep. You just. Yeah. It's okay. Boring. Yeah. That's. And you know they they get boring. They're they're the same thing. Guys are like they're looking around as the tail board's going on. Uh, if they have a video of something they can visually see in front of them, we hope that's going to make it better. Uh, but there you can see the possibilities from this. Uh, this setup. Uh, the benefits to us, obviously, uh, a virtual tailgate opportunity. I mean, tailgates are important. It's the most important part of the job. Uh, rainy days, you know, you can get in whatever you're wanting to work on. Uh, you can pull up a capacitor, reclose your regulator, changing a pole off of a pole here that we did. Just whatever you want to do and show it to the crew. The crew can go off and do their own or you can do it in a safety meeting. Um, the neutral is not being boxed correctly when we were filming, Robbie. Uh, they were boxing uh, secondaries, and in the video, the, the journeyman you saw earlier, he went around to the apprentice and said, ah, this isn't right. And obviously we cut that out, but we, we have the video too where we can show the apprentices like, hey, do you guys see anything wrong here? Just that type of thing. Not how to get anyone in trouble, this is just a learning experience. And, from the conversations that we had earlier, I think it's in, I, I see the value in this right now. So, um, gloves not being worn at all times. Uh, same apprentice, he took his gloves off to get in his ditty bag, pulled something out, and started to go on. The journeyman caught him, just making a ground connection, but you gotta have your gloves on. Come on, you know. Uh, handling of knives, making sure that's correct. Uh, Documentation of products not perform well in the field. We had a, a, a thousand MCM job terminal pole, and we have these new collars. I don't know if you've dealt with them yet. Where you're trying to slide those down, they fit right on top of six-inch conduit. Well, it gets kind of cumbersome putting those on. Um, our engineering department has, has looked at the video, and they're they're addressing that because the guys have a lot of concern. It, it just takes a long time to actually uh, get that mounted. You know, you got six or eight, ten foot of thousand going up the pole and you've got to slide this little collar that's got permanent holes in the middle of it. It's not a two-piece section. So, um, And then we have a job, uh, Meritex Caves, uh, just installing a, uh, similar to a Vista Gear, it's just an enclosed switch. Uh, that's online. It's going to be a five-part segment. It'll be out really soon. Uh, Installing the 1000 MCM, pulling new cable uh, in the caves. Um, that's coming up really quick. And then uh, I think the guys really, from the first time we did a video to the last time, a lot of interest from the guys. 
Uh, and that's what we see instead of the tailgates that we talked about where they're just kind of going through the motions. They're really more involved. So um, next videos will be out. Uh, we're going to do 12 more uh, within next year. And uh, I know if you guys have any interest at all, um, if you would contact me, you can go to the next slide if you would, uh, or Jim Ducart, and we'll be happy to take any, any ideas that you have kind of piggybacks on what Amy said. Um, you see something that's really cool, just have a GoPro camera, put it on your hard hat, and everyone can learn from it. So uh, with that, I will uh, I'll end and uh, 